rotate your video. I'm rotating. There we go. Okay. Hi, hey, say hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. All right, are we on? I think we're on live. I've never done one of these without mix and till, so hopefully we are live. If we are, somebody pop on and give me a hello. Let's see. Um, I want to go see my dog. You got to tell your friends. Tell them all hi. They're all at home. Hi. Say hi. Friends. All right, so I think we're live. <laughs> and away. Okay, wait, right, during... Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay. Well, we decided that we wanted to this week share with you. Sorry for the glare. Maybe we need to turn this. Um, share with you a favorite thing we do every Easter. Whoop, sorry. Um, in regards to the Easter yeah. story with children. So I'm not sure if you all. You know, we may turn this because their glare is bad. Let's turn it over here. Hold on. All right. Mixon, where are you? You you need to be my helper. All right, here we go. Yay, Kelly Ward, say hey, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday, let me see. She's right there, see her? Oh. <laughs> he made you a birthday card, but we haven't got to give it to you yet. So these are what we call, come sit, you're gonna help me open them, the resurrection eggs. Oh, oh, that one's So open. I know many of you love to go on Easter egg hunts at this time of year, you need to back away, okay? Um, and get what do you usually get inside your Easter egg? Um, Tyler. candy. Candy, yes, we usually get candy. But these Easter eggs have special items inside. Yeah, like the purple one. <laughs> and it tells about the Easter story. So as much as we love to get Easter candy and go on egg hunts, oh, yeah, the that's most my important time of year, this time of year is about remember, who? Remember the big Easter bunny gets us toys and stuff? Yep, I know, the Easter bunny comes around, but who do we learn about? Who, who oh, died remember, on the cross for our sins? Remember a long time ago, that Easter bunny was, the camera. <laughs> the, the, the Easter bunny was hiding from us, and we were trying to find him, and then we thought he was coming out. Yeah. And then we saw him. And <laughs> we saw him. So, we are gonna go ahead and share the Easter story with you with our resurrection egg. So, Tyler. First, you need to, hold on. I know all about this. Oh, he knows all about this. So he's going to try to teach the lesson to you. So Tyler, pick, which pick color do we pick first? Get the blue egg. Blue egg. All right, so open it up so everybody can see. Say, look at my blue egg. What's it's a donkey. So ask them, say, what is the donkey mean? In the it means story? Jesus ride on the donkey. And where was he going when he was riding on the donkey? To Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And what did the people, what did they wave in the air? Who's in a blessing of he who comes in the name of the Lord? Very good. That was Palm. That's Palm Sunday that we just celebrated, where the people waved the where uh, the palm branches and waved Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So can y'all see my donkey? There's my little donkey. So that is a part. The first part of this Holy Week that we've been celebrating is celebrating Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, and that was actually prophesied that he would do that in the Old Testament. Okay, what color next? Hold on, let's show them. What color next? The, 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 pink. the pink one. Ooh, this glare is so bad. It, Ooh, here it, we go. We're gonna go with this. Ooh, what is? Show everybody what you got. Um, it, it's penny. Well, it's not pennies. Show them. Not gorgeous. No, nope, they're silver coins. How many yeah, are there? Um, and one. Wait, wait, they can't see that. One. One, two. Two. Three. 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 So, they listen. Three. Jesus, what happened to Jesus with money? What did they do? Um, what happened? Did you, that guy stole the money for all the people. Tell them. I don't know who's the guy's name. I His name know. was Judas, remember? Judas, and yes. Judas, sit up and look, let them see you. Judas was one of the disciples, right? And mm. he betrayed Jesus for like, just a I little like, bit of money. I like Wyatt. Wyatt. Okay, so tell Wyatt. him, look at, Miss Kelly's watching you and everybody else. Look at, Mr. Seth's watching. <laughs> so this egg represents <laughs> Jesus being betrayed. And it was a sad, sad time. But remember, Jesus knew that this was going Why to happen. To it's a bee. We're trying to do it outside for more um, sunshine, but we may be attacked by bees. Yeah. All right, what's the next egg? Oh. What's the next egg? <gasps> purple. I wonder what's inside this the purple. This is my favorite color in the wide world. In the wide world. Sorry about the, the glare. Cup. Here we go. The Show cup. them. <gasps> Show them. They got to see it close. What does the cup represent? God's blood and the juice. 
for all his sins. Okay, so remember when Jesus was at the Last Supper, the Passover meal? And for those of you that don't know, it is Passover right now. Tyler, tell him that yesterday. Tell him you got to participate in the yeah, Seder feast, right? Yeah. We did a, our, a family Seder at home, and it was really awesome to kind of imagine what Jesus was doing that last that, that night with um, the disciples. And so this cup represents what did you tell him? What was um, it? Of God's blood and the juice. <laughs> the, the donkey's drinking. Okay, we'll show you our little setup after we're done with the story. All right, what's the next color egg that we got to get? Orange. <gasps> orange, show him. Show him the I orange. I like this color the most. Okay, he loves that color the most. But let's, okay. What's oh, the praying hands. Oh, what does that mean? What are the pranks? Show him the praying because hands. Because God pray for us. Nope, look at, show him. The, show, show him the praying hands. The praying hands. He likes the little hands. These hands, listen, Tyler. These hands represent Jesus. He went into the garden, and what did he do in the garden? Oh, oh, Bob Pop is on tonight. <laughs> yes. Bob Pop. He went in the garden, and he prayed to God, didn't he? Why did he pray to God, Tyler? Tyler's I don't know. getting distracted by everybody watching. Why did he pray to God? Because he knew his Wait. hour had come, and what was going to happen to Jesus, Tyler? Grandma's not watching That's okay. What was going to happen to Jesus? He died for our sins. He was about to die for our sins on what? The cross. I wonder if one of these is going to be a cross. All right, let's do the next color. It's green. And green. Green. Open the green. <gasps> the swap. What? Oh, swap. what is this? A swap? I don't know. Maybe like a snake <laughs> or something? A it's not a snake. Oh, it almost said a wig. It was a wig. <laughs> it's a whip. What did they do with this whip? They whip people. Oh well, God. we don't. But who did they whip? Who did they whip? Jesus. <gasps> Jesus. Not only did Jesus have to go to the cross, but he was, he was beaten. And this was a symbol of the whip that the Roman soldiers used to beat him. All right, next one. Come on. You got to open the next one for us. Oh, don't drop the camera. <laughs> All right, open that one up. The phone's on the head. Oh, show them. You got to show them. Look. The phone on the head. It's the crown. Oh, slowly show them. Crown of thorns. Hey, wait, so wait, 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 wait. Let me show them. Okay, well, they can't see. You got to look in the screen. You're trying to put it on your head? Oh, oh it fits. Yay. <laughs> fits. You can tell he's Jeremy. Ow. Uh, so. Sorry. So the crown of thorns, this is what they put. Of course, it was a lot bigger and cool, a lot things. sharper. They put this on Jesus's head to symbolize that he was the king of the Jews, Ooh. but it was a whoa, 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 hold on. It was a mockery that they were making fun of him. We know he was king of kings and lord of lords, but this was what they put on his head. There's my dog and, over there. Yeah, our dog's behind you us. <laughs> He's in the cage. <laughs> All right, what's the next one? I think some of your friends are on here watching. Oh, what color? Show them the color. Yes, that's, that's the um, yellow orange. Yellow orange. Very good. Okay. Oh, oh. You got to oh, show this, Oh, um, what is that color? Mango. 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 Oh, mm. very smart. Okay. Of course. Oh, wait, what, 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 now we let them show them this. Look There's at, thorns on it. Not thorns, but nails. So do you see the nails on right this cross? There, there, there. Yep. Yeah, so yeah. there's three nails. Where were the nails? Show them on the video where they put the nails. Do you remember? Boop. Mm. Yep, the nails. Right there and right there. And then where else? Right here. No, but his bottom of his feet. And where did he hang? What is this? The cross. The cross. And then he went, yeah. Yep. And that was a sad, sad day. And but then the next... The next day, he rose from the dead. I know, but listen, that's um, that's right. But remember, that's what we're going to be tomorrow thinking about, right? Jesus, it's Good Friday. That's what people refer to as Good Friday. That's the day that Jesus was nailed on the cross. A, and we um, really think about what that means for us. That's our freedom from sin. Okay, wait, wait, show them. What color? The, and it's the, what color is that? The, the um, white green. White green. <laughs> I like your colors. Oh, the dice. <laughs> Ooh, what? Show them the dice. you got to show them the dice. They can't see it on the table. Show them the dice. Dice. Ooh, what is the dice? Do you remember the story? What but, happens with the dice? Um, the bad guys did have many nails on him. Like, and they picked one nail, they only put one nail on him. And then, no. And they put two, they put two. You forgot about this. So this represents these Roman soldiers, after they got Jesus on the cross, they took his outer garments, which would have been his clothes, 
and they gambled with dice. Yeah, that with was different bad. Belongings, and it was again another sign of mockery and just making fun of Jesus. No, it's purple. All right. So what's the next one? The purple. Purple. That's one of mommy's favorite colors. Okay. Me too. Show. Open. You gotta open. Me too. Yep. Yeah, you too. All right. What is this one? A spear. A spear. Show them. Don't don't move it. <laughs> it's a spear. So what do you think that spear represents? You're cutting. Come over here with me so they can see you. What now? The cut in the blood. Okay, well, they took the spear when Jesus was, they were trying to see if he was really dead on the now cross. Brown. And one of the prophecies was that Jesus' is, none of his bones were broken. Um, that was something they did back in crucifixion. When they crucified people, they would break their legs to hurry death. He had already died, and one of the signs that they, they were able to oh, see. Oh, that looks like Lucy. That does look like Lucy. <laughs> They stuck this in his side, and water and blood poured out. That, that and that showed Lucy. that Jesus' body had died. So that's our spear. That is Lucy. That is Lucy. This is how it is teaching kids. If none of you have ever ventured into the children's program, it's wonderful, but we have uh, constant squirrels <laughs> of different ideas that happen. All right, next I have, one. Can I tell them? Tell us something, yeah. Um, I have an ice machine, but it's in my house. Okay, yes, he has a snow cone machine we're going to do. Let's move you over here so they can see. You can sit on the table. There we it's, go. It's a cloth for Jesus. Oh, it's a cloth. So do you all remember what happened with the cloth? What did yeah. they do, Tyler? They wrapped Jesus. They took Jesus' body down from the cross, and they wrapped him in a cloth yeah. and took them. Let's see if their next one, what it's going to be. Oops. The next one. Take the next one. What's the next egg? Yeah. And they were so sad and so, oh, whoops. The rock that rolled. <laughs> oh, it's a stone. So we've talked a lot about this stone. We have a good book that we may try to share again on Facebook Live, maybe tomorrow or Saturday. It's um, Res, that rock that rolled, right? Oh. <laughs> and it's about the, the stone. Yes. It kind of gives yeah. you a personality. Yeah, how it was. so many right Who now. moved this rock? Who moved that rock? Jesus. Mm, nope. Who moved the rock? The disciples. No. Who was at the tomb? Remember when the, the Mary and, and Martha? Who's uh, Oh, the God. No. Remember, it Jesus. Shine, the shine bright. Oh, the angel. The angel moved the stone away, and Jesus' body, what was ha What happened to Jesus' body? He rose. <gasps> it gone. It was gone. What does that mean? He. <laughs> what does that mean, Tyler? I don't know. If the, if the tomb was empty, what does that mean? I don't know. Yes, you do. Who rose from the dead? Jesus. He rose I, I, from I, the I, dead. I was going to say God. Yes. Well, Jesus is God's son, right? Yeah. God Jesus the Father, is God. God the Son. Jesus is God. Jesus is God. And he rose from the dead. And what did that mean for us? He died for the cross. He died on the cross for what? Let me see. <laughs> He's what? trying to read your name. He died on the cross for what? Who's watching us? It says Jack and Kate said hello. Jack and Kate are saying hi. He died on the cross for our sins. And now, guess what, Tyler? We are free from our sins. And what else? Where do we get to go? When oh, we... let me... Your eyes are green. My eyes are green. What color are my eyes? Green. <laughs> Where do we get to go? Heaven. Heaven! We get to go be with Jesus forever. Yeah. So, let's see if I can show them our little row. Here's all our items. Our donkey, our coins, our cup, our hands, our whip. Our crown of thorns, our cross, the dice, the spear, and then <gasps> empty because Jesus. Oh, you forgot the rock. No, I, oh, did you steal the rock? He did steal the rock. <laughs> Anyhow, we hope that you enjoyed this lesson. Parents, if you don't have these eggs, you may have them. They're very popular. I highly recommend them. They're very hands-on with the children, and it really is a beautiful thing to walk them through. The, um, this holy week, this awesome week where we can celebrate um, salvation and that we get to one day be with our Savior in paradise, that we are free from sin because he did die on the cross and he rose again. And that's such good news. So boys and girls, I hope you remember this, that as much as we have fun with hiding the Easter eggs and the candy, remember the good news of Jesus and that he is the reason we are here. He is the reason that we are alive and that we can have joy even in this hard time where we're stuck at home and can't go to school and see all our friends. 
Jesus is still so much to rejoice about. We have a lot to praise him about and praise him for uh, where you're the, at right now. the one who has to go. Yeah. Praise him for, you know, your home. Praise him for your families. Praise him for the food on your table. Praise him for toilet paper, right? Pray for, <laughs> for going into the side to the toilet. Going inside to the toilet. Oh, oh yes, going to the bathroom. <laughs> again, once again, here's my plea for volunteers. Come teach children because it's never a dull moment and we have a blast. Um, but we, we love go. you we, all. We go. We yes, go. we do. We're going to close in prayer. You want to close in prayer? Yeah. All right. You said pray. close in prayer. You mean close, close in, in prayer. Close, close in prayer. prayer. Okay, here we go. You want to pray? Closest, no, no, closest is clear. Okay, closest is clear. Can you pray and thank, thank, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, for thank what you, you did for Thank you, Jesus. All right, he's being goofy. Go ahead and close us in prayer. Go ahead. Say, dear God. Dear God. Thank you. What is beautiful day. Thank you for Jack and Kate to be safe and best to not have coronavirus. And I just wonder for your beautiful day. And thank you for all the people. I bless them. They don't have coronavirus, and I hope they feel better. And that nap, we had to kill that bug. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you. All right, y'all have a blessed day. Miss you all.